ओम भूर्भुव स्वहतस्वितुर्वरेण्यम भर्गो देवस्म धियो यो नचोदया तो शांति 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 नमस्ते माय डियर फ्रेंड्स दिस इज माय फोर्थ वीडियो ऑन द इंस्पायर टॉक्स बाय स्वामी विवेकानंद here is the beginning of this video the whole world for me not i for the world good and evil are our slaves not we theirs it is the nature of the brute to remain where he is not to progress it is the nature of man to seek good and avoid bad it is the nature of god to seek neither but just to be eternally blissful let us be gods make the heart like an ocean go beyond all the trifles of the world be mad with joy even at evil see the world as a picture and then enjoy its beauty knowing that nothing affects you children finding glass beads in a mud puddle that is the good of the world look at it with calm complacency see good and evil as the same both are merely god's play enjoy all my master paramahamsa rama krishna used to say all is god but tiger god is to be shunned all water is water but we avoid dirty water for drinking the whole sky is the center of god and the sun and moon are the lamps what temple is needed all eyes are thine yet thou hast not an eye all hands are thine yet thou hast not a hand neither seek nor avoid take what comes it is liberty to be affected by nothing do not merely endure be unattached remember the story of the bull a mosquito sat long on the horn of a certain bull then his conscience troubled him and he said mr bull i have been sitting here a long time perhaps i annoy you i'm sorry i will go away but the bull replied oh no not at all bring your whole family and live on my horn what can you do to me wednesday june 26 our best work is done <coughs> our greatest influence is exerted when we are without thought of self all great geniuses know this let us open ourselves to the one divine actor and let him act and do nothing ourselves o arjuna i have no duty in the whole world says krishna be perfectly resigned perfectly unconcerned then alone can you do any true work no eyes can see the real forces we can only see the results put out self lose it forget it just let god work it is his business we have nothing to do but stand aside and let god work the more we go away the more god comes in get rid of the little i and let alone only the great i live little i here little i means ego and great i is atma so try to understand the difference little i is ego and great i is atma or brahma we are what our thoughts have made us so take care of what you think this is a very very good statement a man is what he thinks because our actions are preceded by thoughts if thoughts are positive definitely our deeds will be positive so we must be very very careful while thinking we must always have positive thoughts so that these thoughts will be followed by positive deeds by us and these positive deeds will produce positive sanskaras subtle 
positive impressions in our chitta so we must always think positively never think negatively negative thoughts have a very bad effect on our chitta words are secondary thoughts live they travel far each thought we think is tinged with our own character so that for the pure and holy man even his jest or abuse will have the twist of his own love and purity and do good desire nothing think of god and look for no return it is the desireless who bring results the begging monks carry religion to every man's door but they think that they do nothing they claim nothing their work is unconsciously done if they should eat of the tree of knowledge they would become egoists and all the good they do would fly away as soon as we say i we are humbugged all the time and we call it knowledge but it is only going round and round like a bullock tied to a tree the lord has hidden himself best and his work is best so he who hides himself best accomplishes most conquer yourself and the whole universe is yours in the state of sattva we see the very nature of things we go beyond the senses and beyond reason the adamantine wall that shuts us in egoism we refer everything to ourselves thinking i do this that and the other that rid of this puny i kill this diabolism in us not i but thou say it feel it live it until we give up the world manufactured by the ego never can we enter the kingdom of heaven no never did no never will to give up the world is to forget the ego to know it not at all living in the body but not of it this rascal ego must be obliterated bless men when they revile you think how much good they are doing you they can only hurt themselves go where people hate you let them thrust the ego out of you and you will get nearer to the lord like the mother monkey we hug our baby the world as long as we can but at last when we are driven to put it under our feet and step on it then we are ready to come to god blessed it is to be persecuted for the sake of righteousness blessed are we if we cannot read we have less to talk take us away from god enjoyment is the million headed serpent that we must tread under foot we renounce and go on then find nothing and despair but hold on hold on the world is a demon it is a kingdom of which the puny ego is king put it away and stand firm give up lust and gold and fame and hold fast to the lord and at last we shall reach a state of perfect indifference the idea that the gratification of the senses constitutes enjoyment is purely materialistic there is not one spark of real enjoyment there all the joy there is is a mere reflection of the true bliss those who here i just tell you the actually happiness and bliss lies in our spiritual heart that is with the atma because atma is bliss and peace sometime we feel very happy you know that is the reflection of the real bliss that is with the atma so objects they never give us bliss the bliss is nothing by the mind bliss is felt that is only reflection of the real bliss present in our atma you have to be very careful so worldly objects they will never bring any bliss happiness for momentarily they bring pleasure and happiness is just a reflection of the 
happiness which lies in the atma those who give themselves up to the lord do more for the world than all the so called workers one man who has purified himself thoroughly accomplishes more than a regiment of preachers out of purity and silence comes the word of power be like a lily stay in one place and expand your petals and bees will come of themselves there was a great contrast between keshav chandra sen and sri rama krishna the second never recognized any sin or misery in the world no evil to fight against the first was a great ethical reformer leader and founder of the brahman samaj after 12 years the quiet prophet of dakshineswar had worked a, a revolution not only in india but in the world the power is with the silent ones who only live and love and then withdraw their personality they never say me and mine they are only blessed in being instruments such men are the makers of christ and buddhas ever living fully identified with god ideal existence is asking nothing and not consciously doing anything they are the real movers the jivan muktas absolutely selfless the little personality entirely blown away ambition non existent they are all principal no personality thursday june 27th swami brought the new testament this morning and talked again on the book of johan <coughs> Muhammad claimed to be the comforter that Christ prob- promised to send. He considered it unnecessary to claim a supernatural birth for Jesus. Such claims have been common in all ages and in all countries. All great men have claimed God for their fathers. Knowing is only relative. We can be God but never know him. knowledge is a lower state adam's fall was when he came to know before that he was god he was truth he was purity we are our own, we are our own faces but can see only reflection never the real thing we are love but when we think of it we have to use a phantasm which proves that matter is only externalized thought Nivarti is turning aside from the world Hindu mythology says that the four first created were warned by Swan God himself that manifestation was only secondary so they remained without creating the meaning of this is that expression is a degeneration because spirit can only be expressed by the letter and then the letter killed it yet the principle is bound to be clothed in matter though we know that later we shall lose sight of the real in the covering every great teacher understand this and that is why a continual succession of prophets has to come to show us the principle and give it a new covering suited to the times my master thought that religion is one all prophets teach the same but they can only present the principle in a form so they take it out of the old form and put it before us in a new one when we free ourselves from name and form especially from a body when we need no body good for what then only do we escape from bondage no body good or bad then only do we escape from bondage eternal progression is eternal bondage annihilation of form is to be preferred we must get free from any body even a good body god body god is the only real existence there cannot be two there is but one soul and i am that good works are only valuable as a means of escape they do good to the doer never to any other 
नॉलेज इज मेयर क्लासिफिकेशन वेन वी फाइंड मैनी थिंग्स ऑफ द सेम काइंड वी कॉल द सम ऑफ दैम बाई ए सर्टन नेम एंड आर सेटिस्फाइड वी डिस्कवर फैक्ट्स नेवर वाई वी टेक ए सर्किट इन ए वाइडर फील्ड ऑफ डार्कनेस एंड थिंक वी नो समथिंग नो वाई कैन be answered in this world for that we must go to god the knower can never be expressed it is as when a grain of salt drops in into the ocean it is at once merged in the ocean differentiation creates homogeneity or sameness is god get beyond differentiation then you conquer life and death and reach eternal sameness and are in god are god get freedom even at the cost of life all lives belong to us as leaves to a book but we are unchanging unchanged the witness the soul upon whom the impression is made as when the impression of a circle is made upon the eyes when a firebrand is rapidly wheeled round and round the soul is the unity of all personalities and because it is at rest eternal unchangeable it is god atman it is not life but it is coined into life it is not pleasure but it is manufactured into pleasure today god is being abandoned by the world because he does not seem to be doing enough for the world so they say of what good is he shall we look upon god as a mere municipal authority all all we can do is to pull down all desires hates differences put down the lower self lower self means here ego commit mental suicide as it were keep the body and mind pure and healthy but only as instruments to help us to god that is their only true use seek truth for truth sake alone look not for bliss it may come but do not let that be your incentive have no motive except god dare to come to truth even through hell friday june 28th the entire party went on a picnic for the day and although the swami taught constantly as he did whenever he wherever he was no notes were taken and no record therefore of what he said remains as he began his breakfast before setting out however he remarked be thankful for all food it is brahma his universal energy is transmuted into our individual energy and helps us in all that we do saturday june 29th the swami came this morning with the gita in his hand krishna the lord of souls talks to arjuna or guda kesa lord of sleep he who has conquered sleep the field of virtue the battlefield is this world the five brothers representing righteousness fight the hundred other brothers all that we love and have to contend against the most heroic brother arjuna the awakened soul is the general we have to fight all sense delights the things to which we are most attached to kill them we have to stand alone we are brahma all of the ideas must be merged into this one krishna did everything but without any attachment he was in the world but not of it do all work but without attachment work for work sake never for yourself freedom can never be true of name and form it is the clay out of which we the pots are made then it is limited and not free so that freedom can never be true of the related one pot can never say i am free as a pot only as it loses all ideas of form does it become free the whole universe is only the self with variations the one tune made variable by variation sometimes there are discords but they only make the subsequent harmony 
more perfect in the universal melody there three ideas stand out freedom strength and sameness if your freedom hurts others you are not free there you must not hurt others to be weak is to be miserable says milton doing and suffering are inseparable joined inseparably joined often to the man who loves most is the one who suffers most to work you have the right not to the fruits thereof evil thoughts looked at materially are the disease basically each thought is a little hammer blow on the lump of iron which our bodies are manufacturing out of it what we want it to be we are here to all the good thoughts of the universe if we open ourselves to them the book is all in us fool hearest not thou in thine own heart day and night is the thing that eternal music sat chit ananda so hum so hum existence knowledge bliss absolute i am he i am he the fountain of all knowledge is in every one of us in the ant as in the highest angel real religion is one but we call with the forms the symbols the illustrations the millennium exists already for those who find it we have lost ourselves and then think the world is lost perfect strength will have no activity in this world it it only is it does not act while real perfection is only one relative perfection must be manning sunday june 30th to try to think without a phantasm it is to it is try to make the impossible possible we cannot think mamalia without a concrete example so with the idea of god the great abstraction of ideas in the world is what we call god each thought has two parts the thinking and the word and we must have both neither idealist nor materialist are right we must take both idea and expression all knowledge is of the reflected as we can only see our face in a mirror no one will ever know his own self or god but we are that own self we are god in nirvana you are when you are not buddha said you are best you are real when you are not when the little self is gone little self is gone means ego is gone the light divine within is obscured in most people it is like a lamp in a cask of iron no gleam of light can shine through gradually by purity and unselfishness unselfishness we can make the obscuring medium less and less dense until at last it becomes as transparent as glass sri rama krishna was like the iron cask transformed into a glass cask through which can be seen the inner light as it is we are all on the way to become the cask of glass and even higher and higher reflections as long as there is a cask at all we must think through material means no impatient one can ever succeed great saints are the object lessons of the principle but the disciples make the saint the principle and then they forget the principle in the person the result of buddha's constant in weighing against a personal god was the introduction of idols in india in the veda in the veda they knew them not because they saw god everywhere but the reaction against the loss of god as creator and friend was to make idols and buddha became an idol so too with jesus the range of idols is from wood and stone to jesus and buddha but we must have idols violent attempts at reform always end by 
retarding reform. Do not say you are bad. Say only you are good but be better. Priests are an evil in every country because they denounce and criticize, pulling at one string to mend it until two or three others are out of place. Love never denounces only ambition does that. There is no such thing as righteous anger of justifica justifiable killing. If you do not allow one to become a lion, he will become a fox. Women are a power only now it is more for evil because man oppresses her. She is the fox, but when she is no longer oppressed, she will become the lion. Ordinarily speaking, spiritual aspiration ought to be balanced through the intellect, otherwise it may degenerate into mere sentimentality. All theists agree that behind the changeable there is an unchangeable though they vary in their conception of the ultimate. Buddha denied this in toto. There is no Brahma, no Atma, no soul, he said. As a character, Buddha was the greatest the world has ever seen. Next to him, Christ, but the teachings of Krishna as taught by the Gita are the grandest the world has ever known. He who wrote that wonderful poem was one of those rare souls whose lives send a wave of regeneration through the world. The human race will never again see such a brain as his who wrote the Gita. There is only one power whether manifesting as evil or good. God and the devil are the same river with the water flowing in opposite directions. Monday, July 1st, Sri Rama Krishna Deva. Sri Rama Krishna was the son of a very orthodox Brahman who would refuse even a gift from any but a special caste of Brahmins. Neither might he work nor even be a priest in a temple, nor sell books, nor serve anyone. He could only have what fell from the sky's arms. And even then it must not come through a fallen Brahmin. Temples have no hold on the Hindu religion. If they were all destroyed, religion would not be affected a grain. A man must only build a house for God and guests. To build for himself would be selfish, therefore he erects temples as dwelling places for God. Owing to the extreme poverty of his family, Sri Ramakrishna was obliged to become in his boyhood a priest in a temple dedicated to Divine Mother also called Prakriti or Kali, represented by a female figure standing with her fit on a male figure indicating that until Maya lifts we can know nothing. Brahma is neuter, unknown and unknowable, but to be objectified he covers himself with a veil of Maya, becomes the mother of the universe and so brings forth the creation. The pro the prostrate figure, Shiva or God, has become Sava, dead or lifeless by being covered by Maya. The Jnani says, I will uncover God by force, Advaitism. But the dualist says, we will uncover God by praying to Mother, begging her to open the door to which she alone has the key. The daily service of the Mother Kali gradually awakened such intense devotion in the heart of the young priest that he could no longer carry on the regular temple worship, so he abandoned his duties and retired to a small woodland in the temple compound where he gave himself up entirely to meditation. These woods were on the bank of the river Ganges, and one day the swift current bore to his very feet just the necessary materials to build him a little hut. In this hut he stayed and wept and prayed, taking no thought for the care of his body or for aught except his Divine Mother. A relative fed him once a day and watched over him. 
लेटर केम ए गर्ल सन्यास इन और एसेटिक टू हेल्प हिम फाइंड हिज मदर वट एवर टीचर्स ही नीडिड केम टू हिम अनसॉट फ्रॉम एवरी सेक्ट सम होली सेंट वुड कम एंड ऑफर टू टीच हिम एंड टू ईच ही लिसन ईगरली बट ही वर्शिप्ड ओनली मदर अल्लाह ऑल टू हिम वॉज मदर श्री रामा कृष्णा नेवर स्पोक ए हार्स वर्ड अगेंस्ट एनी वन सो ब्यूटिफुली टॉलरेंट वॉज ही दैट एवरी सेक्ट थाउट दैट ही बिलोंग्स टू दैन ही लवड एवरी वन टू हिम ऑल रिलीजन्स वर ट्रू He found a place for each one. He was free, but free in love, not in thunder. The mild type creates the thundering type spread. Paul was the thundering type to spread the light. The age of Saint Paul, however, is gone. We are to be the new lights for this day. A self-adjusting organization is the great need of our time. when we can get one that will be the last religion of the world the wheel must turn and we should help it not hinder the waves of religious thought rise and fail and on the topmost one stands the prophet of the period rama krishna came to teach the religion of today constructive not destructive he had to go afresh to nature to ask for facts and he got scientific religion which never says believe but see i see and you too can see use the same means and you will reach the same vision god will come to everyone harmony is within the reach of all sri rama krishna's teachings are the gist of hinduism they were not peculiar to him nor did he claim that they were he cared not for name or fame He began to preach when he was about 40 but he never went out to do it he waited for those who wanted his teachings to come to him in accordance with hindu custom he was married by his parents in early youth to a little girl of 5 who remained at home with her family in a distant village unconscious of the great struggle through which her young husband was passing When she reached maturity, he was already deeply absorbed in religious devotion. She travelled on foot from her home to the temple at Dakshineswara, where he was then living. And as soon as he saw him, she recognized what he was. For she herself was a great soul, pure and holy, who only desired to help his work and never to drag him down to the level of the grihastha householder. Sri Rama Krishna is worshipped in India as one of the great incarnations, and his birthday is celebrated there as a religious festival. A curious round stone is the emblem of Vishnu. the omni present each morning a priest comes in offers sacrifice to the idol waves incense before him then puts him to bed and apologizes to god for worshiping him in that way because he can only conceive of him through an image or by means of some material object he bathes the he bathes the idol clothes him and puts his divine self into the idol to make it alive there is a sect which says it is weakness to worship only the good and beautiful we ought also to love and worship the hideous and the evil this sect prevails all over tibet and they have no marriage in india proper they cannot exist openly but organize secret societies no decent man will belong to them except sab roza thrice communism was tried in tibet and thrice it failed they used tapas and with immense success as far as power is concerned tapas means literally to burn it is a kind of penance to heat the higher nature it is sometimes in the form of a sunrise to sunset vow such a, such as repeating om all day incessantly these actions will produce a certain power that you can convert into any form you wish spiritual or material this idea of tapas 
penetrates the whole of Hindu religion. The Hindus even say that God made the past to create the world. It is a mental instrument with which to do everything. Everything in the three worlds can be caught by tapas. People who report about sex with which they are not in sympathy are both conscious and unconscious liars. A believer in one set can rarely see truth in others. A great Bhakta Hanuman once said, when asked what day of the month it was, God is my eternal date, no other date I care for. Tuesday, July 2nd, the Divine Mother. Saktas worship the universal energy as Mother. The sweetest name they know for the Mother is the highest ideal of womanhood in India. When God is worshipped as Mother, as love, the Hindus call it the right-handed way and it leads to spirituality, but never to material prosperity. When God is worshipped on His terrible side, that is in the left-handed way, it leads usually to great material prosperity, but rarely to spirituality, and eventually it leads to degeneration and the obliteration of the race who practice it. Mother is the first manifestation of power and is considered a higher idea than father. With the name of mother comes the idea of Sakti, divine energy and omnipotence just as the baby believes its mother to be all-powerful, able to do anything. The Divine Mother is the Kundalini sleeping in us without worshipping her. We can never know ourselves. All merciful, all powerful, omnipresent are attributes of Divine Mother. She is the sum total of the energy in the universe. Every manifestation of power in the universe is Mother. She is life, she is intelligence, she is love, she is in the universe yet separate from it. She is a person and can be seen and known as Sri Rama Krishna saw and knew her. Established in the idea of Mother we can do anything. She quickly answers prayer. She can show herself to us in any form at any moment. Divine Mother can have form, rupa and name, nama or name without form and as we worship her in these various aspects we can rise to pure being having neither form nor name. The sum total of all the cells in an organism in one person, so each soul is like one cell and the sum of them is God and beyond that is the Absolute. The sea calm is the Absolute, the sea waves the sea in waves is Divine Mother, sea is time, space and causation. God is Mother and has two natures, the conditioned and the unconditioned. As the former sea is God, nature and soul, man. As the latter sea is unknown and unknowable, out of the unconditioned came the Trinity, God, nature and soul, the triangle of existence. This is the Visista Advaitist idea. A bit of mother, a drop was Krishna, another was Buddha, another was Christ. The worship of even one spark of mother in our early mother leads to greatness. Worshipper, if you want to love and wisdom. Wednesday, July 3rd. Generally speaking, human religion begins with fear. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. But later comes the higher idea, perfect love casteth our fear. Traces of fear will remain with us until we get knowledge, know what God is. Christ, being man, had to see impurity and denounced it. But God infinitely higher does not see iniquity and cannot be angry. Denunciation is never the highest. David's hands were smeared with blood, he could not build the temple. The more we grow in love and virtue and holiness, the more we see love and virtue and holiness outside. 
all condemnation of others really condemn ourselves at just the microcosm which is in your power to do and the macrocosm will adjust itself for you it is like the hydrostatic paradox one drops of water can balance the universe we cannot see outside what we are not inside the universe is to us what the huge engine is to the miniature engine an indication of any error in the tiny engine leads us to imagine trouble in the huge one every step that has been re really gained in the world has been gained by love criticizing can never do any good it has been tried for thousands of years condemnation accomplishes nothing a real vedantist must sympathize with all monism or absolute oneness is the very soul of vedanta dualists naturally tend to become intolerant to think there is the only way the vaishnavas in india who are dualists are a most intolerant sect among the sevas another dualistic sect the story is told of a devotee by the name of ghanta karna or the bell eared who was so devout a worshiper of shiva that he did not wish even to hear the name of any other deity so he wore two bells tied to his ear in order to drown the sound of any voice uttering other divine names on account of his intense devotion to shiva the latter wanted to teach him that there was no difference between shiva and vishnu so he appeared before him as half vishnu and half shiva at that moment the devotee was waving incense before him but so great was the bigotry of ghanta karna that when he saw the fragrance of the incense entering the nostril of vishnu he thrust his finger into it to prevent the god from enjoying the sweet smell the meat eating animal like the lion gives one blow and subsides but the patient bullock goes on all day eating and sleeping as it walks the live yankee cannot compete with the rice eating chinese coolie while military power dominates meat eating will prevail but with the advance of science fighting will grow less and then the vegetarians will come in we divide ourselves into two to love god myself loving myself god has created me and i have created god we create god in our image it is it is we who create him to be our master it is not god who makes us his servants when we know that we are one with god that we and he are friends then come equality and freedom so long as you hold yourself separate by a hair's breadth from this eternal world fear cannot go never ask that foolish question what good will it to do the world let the world go love and ask nothing love and look for nothing further love and forget all the isms drink the cup of love and become mad say thine o thine forever o lord and plunge in forgetting all else the very idea of god is love seeing a cat loving her kittens stand and pray god has become manifest there literally believe this repeat i am thine i am thine for we can see god everywhere do not seek for him just see him may the lord ever keep you alive light of the world soul of the universe the absolute cannot be worshiped so we must worship a manifestation such such a one as he is our nature jesus had our nature he became the christ so can we and so must we Christ and Buddha were the names of a state to be attained Jesus and Gautama were the persons to many first it mother is the first and the highest manifestation next the Christ and Buddha we make our own environment and we strike the fetters of the atma is the fearless when we pray to a god outside it is good only we do not know what we do when we know the self we understand the highest expression of love is unification there was a time when i was a woman and he was a man still love grew until there was neither 
he nor I. Only I remember faintly there was a time when there were two, but love came between and made them one. Persian Sufi poem. Knowledge exists externally and is coexistent with God. The man who discovers the spiritual law is inspired and what he brings is re revelation, but revelation too is eternal, not to be crystallized as final and then blindly followed. The Hindus have been criticized so many years by their conquerors that they, the Hindus, dare to criticize their religion themselves and this makes them free. Their foreign rulers struck off their fetters without knowing it. The most religious people on earth, the Hindus, have actually no sense of blasphemy. To speak of holy things in any way is to them in itself a sanctification. Nor have they any artificial respect for prophets or books or for hypocritical pity. The Church tries to fit Christ into it, not the Church into Christ. So only those writings were preserved that suited the purpose in hand. Thus the books are not to be depended upon and book worship is the worst kind of idolatry, idolatry to bind our feet. All has to conform to the book, science, religion, philosophy. It is the most horrible tyranny. This tyranny of the Protestant Bible, every man in Christian countries has a huge cathedral on his head and on top of that a book, and yet man lives and grows. Does not this prove that man is God? Man is the highest being that exists, and this is the greatest world. We can have no conception of God higher than man, so our God is man and man is God. When we rise and go beyond and find them something higher, we have to jump out of the mind, out of body and the imagination and leave this world. When we rise to be the absolute, we are no longer in this world. Man is the apex of the only world we can ever know. All we know of animals is only by analogy. We judge them by what we do and feel. Our the sum total of knowledge is ever the same, only sometimes it is more manifested and sometimes less. The only source of it is within and there only it is found. All poetry, painting and music is feeling expressed through words, through color, through sound. Blessed are those upon whom their sins are quickly visited. Their account is the sooner balanced. Woe to those who punishment is, whose punishment is deferred, it is the greater. Those who have attained sameness are said to be living in God. All hatred is killing the self by self, therefore love is the law of life. To rise to this is to be perfect, but the more perfect we are, the less work so called can we do. The Satvikas see and know that all is mere child play and do not trouble themselves about anything. Now here I stop this video. Thank you my dear friends for listening and watching this video with patience. Please like, comment and share the video and subscribe my channel. Thank you a lot. Namaste my dear friends. Namaskar.